Hello students. Now we'll solve the fifth question of exercise 2.6, and this question is completely about decimal multiplication. So as I already told you that in decimal multiplication, first of all we multiply the numbers normally, and then we'll put the decimal place starting from the right towards the left by counting the number of decimal points. Here are there are two decimal points, so we'll put two decimal points starting from the right towards the left. So first of all, as I told you, we'll multiply the numbers normally. Twenty-five multiplied with three, and that will be seventy-five. Now there are two decimal points, one and two. So we'll start from the right towards the left, and we'll put two decimal points, and it will come somewhere here. So it, the answer will be point seven five. Similarly, here we multiply one with five hundred and seventeen, and it will give us five hundred and seventeen. Now the number of decimal points are one and two, so there are two decimal points. So we'll shift the decimal towards the left, and our answer will be five point one seven. Now on this one here we'll multiply two with three one six eight, so it will be six three three six, and the number of decimal points are two, so the decimal will be put in the place just before three. Now in this one we will multiply 13 with 31 and it will give us 390 plus 13 that will be 403 and there are two decimal points so answer will be 4.03 Now in this last part means the fifth part first of all we will multiply 5 and 5 it will give us 25 Now we will put the decimal point it is 1 Two and three, three decimal points. So this is one, this is two, and this is three. So the decimal point will come here. So answer will be point. This place is empty, so we'll put a zero, point zero two five. And this is how you can solve these type of questions. The remaining parts will solve in the next video. Thank you.